Well, look who came back for more. I'm Ben Palacios, and you're listening to Steamy Stories, written by J.C. Calciano. This is Bicycle Short. Randy had just finished a long day cycling his favorite hiking trails. It was a grueling but invigorating 30-mile ride through some of the most extreme yet gorgeous terrain Utah has to offer. At 25 years old and standing a lean 6 foot 2, Randy was quite the looker. His light olive skin perfectly complemented his striking blue eyes and wavy, brilliant chestnut hair. Acting and modeling were his day jobs, but Randy's true love was the great outdoors and pushing his body to its limits. Now back at his Jeep, he peeled off his sweat-drenched shirt and poured bracing ice water over his head. Ah, heaven. The perfect way to end an incredible trek. Standing there in his bike shorts, shirtless and dripping wet, he thought, This is freedom. After cooling down, Randy dried off with a towel and slipped on a fresh cotton shirt and flip-flops. His t-shirt stuck to his still-sweating, sculpted pecs and chiseled abs. Without even intending to, he was sexy as hell. All packed up, he set forth on the long drive home with plenty of drinking water and protein bars on hand so he wouldn't have to stop for dinner. As he drove, the surrounding beauty hypnotized him. The setting sun painted the sky a gorgeous spectrum of pinks and purples. With the wind blowing in his hair and radio blasting classic rock, he failed to notice he was driving well above the speed limit. Piercing the quiet meditation was a shrieking siren signaling that it wanted Randy's attention. In the rearview mirror, he could see the state trooper motioning him to pull over. Once safely on the side of the road, Randy sat quietly at the wheel and waited for the patrolman to approach. The sun, almost set, was now delivering a last dazzling display of light before nightfall. A flashlight beamed into his eyes. Randy rolled down the window. You got any idea how fast you were going, son? I had no idea I was speeding, he replied courteously. My mind must have wandered with the beautiful sunset and this long stretch of empty road. This is God's country. No denying that. He shined the flashlight on Randy's face, and then in his lap. Randy couldn't help but notice that the police officer was certainly someone who enjoyed his time at the gym. With an impressive physique, well-defined jawline, and Romanesque nose, this cop was a stone-cold stud. (laughs) What are you wearing there? Stretchy pants? The officer's flashlight focused on Randy's crotch. He was aware that his spandex shorts left nothing to the imagination. Blessed with a substantial appendage, there was no way he could hide the fact that he was becoming aroused. A distraction was needed quickly in order to stop his pant python from getting loose. They are bicycling pants, sir. There's a bike on the car rack. I wear these when I ride. Hmm. You're not getting smart with me, Junior, are you? The cop peeked over the top of his sunglasses, revealing the most perfect green eyes. Randy's heart skipped a beat. The officer continued, California plates. You're obviously one of those L.A. pretty boys. Randy decided to take a chance and do some subtle flirting. It might get him out of this jam. Yes, sir, that's exactly what I am. And judging from the way you fit into that uniform with those hulking biceps... You're a badass Utah patrol man. The officer snickered. (laughs) You got that right, young man. And maybe this badass cop should teach you a lesson. Before Randy's brain could stop him, his mouth blurted out, Maybe a lesson in the back seat of your cruiser is a good idea. I see you've got a set of handcuffs. The patrol man stopped dead in his tracks and stared Randy down. Clearly, Randy had just crossed a line. He gulped. The officer carefully thought about his next words. He clicked off his flashlight. Why don't you get the fuck out of here and go back to where you came from? The cop turned and headed back to his patrol car. Randy's adrenaline was skyrocketing. Was the cop really letting him go? 
His heart was pounding, and his cycling shorts were now tighter than ever. That was crazy, dangerous, and hot. Randy rolled up his window, put the Jeep into drive, and drove away. What the hell did I just say to that cop? Am I insane? Holy shit! He blasted the radio, set his cruise control to 55, and drove his Jeep toward the county line. Ten minutes later, a mere five miles before the California border, Randy heard another siren and saw flashing red lights in the rearview mirror. What the... Once again, he pulled over to the side of the road, rolled down the window, and waited. I know I wasn't speeding. When the officer approached, Randy was shocked to see the same cop as before. But before Randy could even speak, the officer swung open the door and forced him out of his jeep. Two massive arms flipped him around and pushed him against the hot hood of his car. The officer forcibly twisted Randy's arms behind him and handcuffed him tightly. What did I do? What's going on? The cop leaned toward Randy and growled. You have the right to shut the fuck up. The officer walked Randy to the back of his patrol car and swung open the door. With a forceful shove, Randy flopped forward like a rag doll, face down onto the back seat. That's when he heard the unmistakable sound of a heavy metal belt being unbuckled, followed by a zipper. Was this what you wanted, you smart-ass son of a bitch? Randy gasped, then held his breath. The officer was role-playing with him. He had never been this turned on in his entire life. Uh, yeah, definitely. The officer climbed on top of Randy and whispered softly in his ear, The name's McCulley. I patrol these parts every Sunday between 5 p.m. and midnight. Got it. Randy let out a small giggle. <laughs> well, if this is what I get for going 10 miles over the speed limit, next week I might have to commit a felony. Enjoy JC's writing? Then check out his new book, Revenge of the Brobot. Join the Steam Room Stories bros as one of them finds love with an amorous android while on the run from a merciless marine. Revenge of the Brobot is now available on Amazon in softcover, hardcover, hardcover, and audible. One more thing. If you're not tired of hearing my voice, check out my other podcast, Ask Your Gay Uncle, hosted by me and my uncle Tommy. We are two generations of gunkles serving advice, antics, tender moments, and tough love. Just search Ask Your Gay Uncle on your podcast app or go to askyourgayuncle.com. Steamy Stories is written by J.C. Calciano and narrated by yours truly, Ben Palacios. You can find Steamy Stories on Instagram and Twitter at Steamy Podcast. Our logo photography is by Kevin McDermott. Come back next week for another steamy story. Later, bro.